Hey everyone, um, obviously I'm going to be talking about the Barbie movie as you can see from this poster behind me and I want to talk about it from a trans man's perspective. So this isn't going to be a review of the film but I do particularly want to speak about Ken and what he does in the film because I have seen some, very few thankfully, trans guys kind of do the same thing so if you've not seen the film you don't know what happens, then you need to get out of here because I'm going to talk about it. So, basically, Barbie and Ken are going to leave Barbie land and go to the real world. Okay, so when Ken gets to the real world, he's like, wow, men are like alpha here. They're top dog, they're respected, they're listened to. You know, he gets some books from the library and then goes back to Barbie land and then turns Barbie land basically into the real world, which is obviously just not as lovely, vibrant and beautiful as it was previously. So what I mean by trans guys have done a Ken is that they've transitioned and they look male, like me. And then what happens is they realise they get more accepted by society, particularly strangers, particularly if they're stealth, so if they're not out as trans. They're then listened to, respected, and sometimes these trans guys, like when they're in groups with uh, cis guys, they will act like the lad, get awful, I suppose they call it in America, locker room behaviour, um, and just treat, you know rimming with uh disrespect just to fit in and not to be i suppose clocked as it were as a trans guy so obviously this is a shame because you know i was socialized as a woman growing up um and i do remember what that was like um i haven't forgotten that uh and i wouldn't want to forget that either like i do remember you know when I would speak, no one would listen to me. I'd be brushed aside. My opinion didn't matter. Um, you know, I couldn't go for certain jobs because it was a man's job. Things like that. Um, particularly when I was growing up because I'm quite old now. But, um, yeah, thankfully things are changing. Uh, thank God. Uh, and, you know, women do, you know, are getting the respect that they deserve. But as a trans guy, you know, I have a privilege now, um, especially with obviously strangers that don't know I'm trans and, you know, I'm respected, I'm listened to, you know, whereas before, obviously that never, never happened. So, you know.